education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about illustrates events, union, and intersection of events. What could be our objectives? First, we will illustrate events, union, and intersection of events. Second, we will solve problems of union and intersection of two events. So what is a set? Sets are the collection of items and using the bracket. It may contain numbers, days of the week, or names of friends. Example of the sets that is set A, B, C, D, and E. As you can see, we have the open bracket and closed bracket. How about the elements? Elements are the items contained within a set satisfies the criteria. So as you can see, we have element A, B, C, D, and E. We have five elements of these letters. How about this example? So we have the sets that is open and close bracket. So sets 1, 2, 3, and 4. As you can see, how many elements of these sets? We have 4 elements. What is an event? Event is a subset of a sample space. It is also a specific or a collection of outcomes. We have two kinds of event. Simple events any event which consists of a single outcome in the sample space. How about compound events? Compound events, event which consists of more than one outcome. So it means simple events, single outcome. While the compound events, more than one outcome. So let us see the difference between union and intersection. Union is the blending of both sets indicates with OR. The symbol for union is this one. How about the intersection? The intersection when the two sets overlap indicates N. The symbol of the intersection is this one. So let us see the difference between union of events and intersection of events. Union of events an event is something that has happened and is always associated with an experiment. Consists of elements belonging to event A, event B, or both A and B. This is written as A or B, or in a symbol, A union of B. How about the intersection of events? Events are occurring together. Even if one event holds false, all will be false. In the intersection of events consists of all elements in event A and event B at the same time. So it means this is written as A and B and the symbol A intersection of B. Given the following sets, we have event A and event B. Event A that is 2, 4, 6, 7, and 8. And event B, that is 2, 6, 10, 11, and 12. So, let us see in the diagram of the event A and event B. Ano ba ilalagay natin dito sa gitna? Ilalagay natin sa gitna yung may kaparehas dun sa event A and event B. Ano yon? So, that is 2 and then 6. And then afterwards, ilagay natin yung event A. So, the event A are 2, 4, 6, 7, and then 8. So that could be the event A. How about the event B? The event B, that is 2, 6, 10, 11, and 12. So let us analyze now the A union of B and then A intersection of B. So A union of B, we need to write all. But then yung naulit, hindi na natin isusulat ulit. So the A union of B, the event A, that is 2, 4, 6, 7, and 8. So that is the event A. How about the event B? So event B, no need to write 2 
and then 6. So, ang susulat na lang natin is 10, 11, and 12. So, it means the A union of B, it is equal to 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, and 12. And then, lagay natin yung bracket. How about the A intersection of B? The A intersection of B, ito yun. So, the A intersection of B, that is 2, and then 6. In example number 1, if event A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and event B is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, let us identify the A union of B. So, pagsasamahin natin A union of B, but then may naulit ba? Kung wala, isulat natin lahat. Sa event A, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, while the event B is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So, it means the A union B, it is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. How about the A intersection of B? Sa A intersection of B, ibig sabihin nito, sa bracket, walang laman. Bakit walang laman? Wala na bang naulit? So, isusulat natin bracket, pero walang laman, or pwede natin isulat na empty set. In example number 2, if event A is letters from the word marble and event B, all the vowels, let us see what could be the given. The given event A, the letters are M, A, R, B, L, E. And then, while in the event B, the vowels, that is A, E, I, O, and then U. So let us see what could be the A union B. So we need to write all. So, hindi natin isusulat if the letters are repeated. So, marble, M-A-R-B-L-E. Well, in the event B, we have A, no need to write. We have E, no need to write. So, isusulat na lang natin is I-O-U. So, the A union B, the letters are M-A-R-B-L-E-I-O-U. How about the A intersection of B? So, alin ba dyan yung nag-intersect from the word marble and bubble. So, the intersection, that is A and then E. How about number 3? As you can see in the diagram, we have event A and then event B. The intersections are 2, 3, and 5. So, let us see what could be the given for the event A. The event A, the given are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and then 9. While the event B, the given are 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and then 10. So, let us see what could be the A union of B. So, yung mauulit, no need to repeat, uh, to write again. So, ano yung mga mauulit na yun? That is 2, 3, and 5. So, let us get the event A. The event A are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9. Well, the event B, no need to write 2 and 3 because we have 2 and 3, so write 4. No need to write 5, so we need to write 7, 8, and 10. So the A union B, that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, 4, 7, 8, and 10. How about the A intersection of B? The A intersection of B, that is equal to 2, 3, and then 5. If we have event A and event B, this one is the intersection of event A and event B. So that is 2, 3, and 5. In event A, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, while the event B, we have 8, 9, 10. As you can see, there is no intersection between event A and event B. So let us write the given for the event A, that is the bracket 0, 1, 2, 3, while the event B, we have 8, 9, and then 10. So as you can see, there is no intersection between event A and event B. So let us get the A union of B. So pagsasamahin natin yung event A and event B. Kung walang naulit, copy. 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 8, 9, 10. So the A union B are 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, and 10. How about the A intersection of B? So meron bang nag-intersect between the event A and event B? So, kung wala, so that is equal to the bracket, walang isusulat dahil wala naman nag-intersect. Or, pwedeng isulat maliban sa bracket is empty set.
we have three steps in solve problems involving union and intersection of two events. In step one, it is always helpful to start the problem on the last clue or information given. Step two, subtract the number of elements in the intersection from the clues stated in the problem. While in the step three, the remaining elements who does not belong to event A and event B must be placed outside the two circles. As you can see in the diagram, we have event A and event B. The event A, that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9. While the event B, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and then 10. The intersection between the event A and event B, we have 2, 3, and 5. And then outside, the event A and event B, that is 11 and 12. So let us see the cardinal number of event A. The cardinal number of event A, that is equal to 6 elements. If we count, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. How about the cardinal number of event B? We have 7 elements. If we count, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then does not belong to event A and event B, that is 11 and 12. So that is equal to 2 elements. So let us identify the cardinal number of A union B. So the A union B, the formula is the cardinal number of event A plus the cardinal number of event B minus the cardinal number of A intersection of B. The number of A that is equal to 6 elements, while the number of event B that is equal to 7 elements minus the number of A intersection of B, so nag-intersect yung A and B, we have 1, 2, 3, that is equal to 3 elements. The 3 elements are 2, 3, and then 5. So let us solve. 6 plus 7 is 13 minus 3. The answer for the hard number of A union B, that is equal to 10. How about in example number 5? A health worker survey 100 patients in a quarantine facility to find out how many patients experience the symptoms of COVID-19. From the survey, 31 patients have high fever, 26 patients have dry cough, and 12 patients experience both symptoms. What could be the steps in solving union and intersection of events? The first step, let us identify the problem on the last clue or the information given. So the information given, as you can see, that is high fever, dry cough, and then both symptoms. So let us analyze using the diagram. So we have high fever. The high fever is 31 patients, while the dry cough, let us represent with letter D, dry cough, that is 26 patients, and experience both symptoms, that is equal to 12. So based on the problem and a diagram, let us analyze letter A. Patients who have high fever or dry cough. High fever represent as first letter, that is H, while the dry cough let us represent with the first letter, that is T. So let us identify the number of high fever or dry cough, or the symbol for or, that is H union of T. So the formula is the number of H plus the number of D, minus the intersection of H and then D. So what could be the number of high fever? The number of high fever that is equal to 31, plus the number of dry cup that is equal to 26. We need to subtract it with the intersection of the high fever and dry cup. So it means minus 12. So 31 plus 26 minus 12, the answer is equal to 45. So the patients who have high fever or dry cough, that is equal to 45. So how about letter B? Patients who are asymptomatic. We have 100 patients. So let us see how many patients who are asymptomatic. So the number of A, it is equal to, let us represent asymptomatic as letter A. And then, so 100 patients, so we have 100 patients minus the number of the 
H union of D. The H union of D, that is equal to 45. So it means 100 minus 45. The answer is equal to 55. So the asymptomatic is 55. Well, the patients will have high fever and dry cup that is equal to 45. The total number of patients that is equal to 100. How about letter C? Patients who have dry cough only. So let us see. The number of dry cough, it is equal to the number of dry cough minus the number of the intersection of high fever and then dry cough. So it means the number of dry cough, that is equal to 26. And the intersection of them, that is equal to 12. So 26 minus 12. So the number of who have dry cough only, that is equal to 14. How about patients who only have one symptom? So what is one symptom? So high fever or dry cough. So the number of high fever, it is equal to 31 minus the number of the intersection of the high fever and dry cough, so minus 12, so 31 minus 12, the answer is equal to 19. How about the number of dry cough only? So the number of dry cough only, that is 26, minus the intersection of the high fever and dry cough, minus 12, so 26 minus 12, the answer is equal to 14. So if we add 19, less 14, the answer is equal to 33. So patients who only have one symptoms of high fever and dry cough, the answer is equal to 33. Instruction in part 1, give the union and intersection of events A and B. While in part 2, Solve the following questions involving union and intersection of two events. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.